For people with diabetes, managing the condition can be a balancing act that involves diet, exercise, monitoring blood glucose levels, and sometimes taking medications like insulin or oral hypoglycemic agents. It's a routine that many are familiar with, one that becomes second nature over time. Yet, there's an often overlooked aspect of healthcare that can present hidden dangers for those managing diabetes, the use of antibiotics. Antibiotics are a common and powerful tool in fighting bacterial infections. They can be life-saving when used appropriately, treating everything from minor infections to life-threatening conditions. But for diabetics, the interplay between these medications and their condition can introduce a range of complications. Misusing or overusing antibiotics, in particular, can have serious consequences for someone with diabetes, and these consequences are often not immediately apparent. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. When someone with diabetes contracts an infection, it's already a concerning situation. Infections can cause blood sugar levels to rise, making it harder to control the condition. This, in turn, can lead to a vicious cycle where the infection exacerbates diabetes and poorly managed diabetes worsens the infection. This cycle alone makes it crucial for diabetics to be vigilant about how they treat infections. But introducing antibiotics into this mix can add another layer of complexity. Antibiotics, by their very nature, do not distinguish between harmful bacteria and the beneficial bacteria that live in our bodies, particularly in our gut. These beneficial bacteria play a significant role in various bodily functions, including digestion, immune response, and even the regulation of blood sugar. Disrupting this delicate balance can have unforeseen effects, especially for diabetics. One of the primary concerns is how antibiotics can affect blood glucose levels. Certain antibiotics, such as fluoroquinolones, are known to interfere with blood sugar control, leading to both hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar, and hyperglycemia, or high blood sugar. Hypoglycemia, in particular, can be dangerous, causing symptoms like confusion, sweating, and even loss of consciousness if not treated promptly. For a diabetic, experiencing unpredictable swings in blood sugar can make managing the condition incredibly difficult and increase the risk of complications. There have been numerous studies highlighting the risks associated with the use of specific antibiotics in diabetic patients. For example, a study published in the journal Diabetes Care found that the use of fluoroquinolones was associated with a significantly increased risk of severe blood sugar disturbances, particularly hypoglycemia, compared to other antibiotics. This study involved a large cohort of diabetic patients and highlighted the need for careful consideration when prescribing these drugs to people with diabetes. In another study, researchers found that diabetics who used certain antibiotics had a higher risk of hospitalization due to severe blood sugar issues. This underscores the importance of not only choosing the right antibiotic, but also closely monitoring blood sugar levels during the course of treatment. It's not just the type of antibiotic that matters, but also the dosage and duration of the treatment that can influence the outcome for a diabetic patient. There is also the issue of antibiotic resistance, which is a growing concern worldwide. For diabetics, this can be particularly worrisome. Frequent or inappropriate use of antibiotics can lead to the development of resistant bacteria, which are much harder to treat. If a diabetic patient develops an antibiotic-resistant infection, it can be much more challenging to manage, potentially leading to prolonged illness and more severe complications. This is why it's crucial for diabetics to only use antibiotics when absolutely necessary, and to follow the prescribed course exactly as directed by their healthcare provider. Another factor to consider is the impact of antibiotics on kidney function. People with diabetes are already at a higher risk of developing kidney problems, such as diabetic nephropathy. Some antibiotics can be nephrotoxic, meaning they can damage the kidneys, which is particularly concerning for diabetics who may already have compromised kidney function. 
For example, aminoglycosides, a class of antibiotics, are known for their potential to cause kidney damage, especially with prolonged use. This is why it's vital for healthcare providers to assess kidney function before prescribing these medications to diabetic patients. There are also concerns about how antibiotics might affect the cardiovascular system in people with diabetes. Some studies suggest that certain antibiotics, particularly macrolides and fluoroquinolones, may increase the risk of arrhythmias and other heart-related issues. Since diabetics are already at a higher risk for cardiovascular disease, adding an additional risk factor through antibiotic use can be particularly dangerous. These potential interactions emphasize the importance of a tailored approach to antibiotic therapy in diabetic patients. Moreover, the relationship between antibiotics and the gut microbiome cannot be ignored. The gut microbiome plays a crucial role in maintaining overall health, including the regulation of metabolism and immune function. For diabetics, the integrity of the gut microbiome is especially important, as it can influence blood sugar levels and inflammation, both of which are critical factors in managing diabetes. Antibiotics can disrupt the balance of the gut microbiome, potentially leading to dysbiosis, a condition where harmful bacteria outnumber the beneficial ones. This imbalance has been linked to worsened blood sugar control and increased insulin resistance, both of which are detrimental to someone with diabetes. Research has shown that after a course of antibiotics, the gut microbiome may take weeks or even months to recover fully. During this time, the risk of complications related to diabetes can increase. This is particularly true if the patient is not aware of the potential impact on their gut health and doesn't take steps to support their microbiome during and after antibiotic treatment. Probiotics and prebiotics can help but they may not completely mitigate the disruption caused by antibiotics, especially if the antibiotics are broad-spectrum or used repeatedly. One of the most concerning long-term effects of antibiotic use in diabetics is the potential for developing antibiotic-associated diarrhea or more severe conditions like Clostridium difficile infection, or CDI. CDI is a serious condition that can cause severe diarrhea, colitis, and even life-threatening complications. Diabetics are at a higher risk for CDI, particularly after antibiotic use, because their immune systems are often compromised, and their gut microbiomes are more easily disrupted. This risk further emphasizes the need for cautious and judicious use of antibiotics in people with diabetes. The hidden dangers of antibiotic use in diabetics go beyond the immediate risks of blood sugar disturbances and infections. Long-term use of antibiotics has been linked to an increased risk of developing chronic conditions, including obesity, inflammatory bowel disease, and even some types of cancer. For diabetics who are already managing a chronic condition, the added risk of developing another long-term health issue is a significant concern. This makes the decision to use antibiotics a critical one, where the potential benefits must be weighed carefully against the risks. One of the most challenging aspects of managing diabetes is the need to consider how every aspect of life, from diet to medication, can affect the condition. Antibiotics, though powerful and often necessary, are no exception. Diabetics need to be aware of the potential dangers and should work closely with their healthcare providers to ensure that any antibiotic use is carefully managed. This might involve more frequent blood sugar monitoring, adjusting diabetes medications, or choosing alternative treatments when possible. In conclusion, while antibiotics are a crucial tool in modern medicine, their use in diabetics requires special attention. The potential for blood sugar disturbances, kidney damage, cardiovascular risks, and gut microbiome disruption are all significant concerns that must be considered. Diabetics should never take antibiotics lightly and should always consult with their healthcare provider before starting any new medication. The goal should always be to use antibiotics in a way that minimizes risk while effectively treating the infection. Only by being informed and cautious can diabetics protect themselves from the hidden dangers of antibiotics and maintain better control of their condition in the long run.